welcome. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate and thank you for visiting my channel. If you are here for the very first time, this channel is for people who are new to making money online. And I do step-by-step -step video tutorials that will show you what to do and how to do it for your YouTube, WordPress, and other social media. This video is about Creative Commons. I will be answering the five W's, what, where, when, why, and who. Are you ready? Let's jump into the video. So I find the best place to get your information is from Google. And here I typed in YouTube Creative Commons. And here you will see YouTube or Google will give you the answers to the four or five most asked questions. When you don't use Creative Commons properly, you will end up with a channel violation. I used a Creative Commons, but I didn't label it properly, and I got an active copyright strike. So I've put together a couple of different questions in which for you to be able to understand to start with, there are two licenses that YouTube uses, a standard YouTube license and a Creative Commons, which is CC BY. And this is where, as a creator, you grant others the right to use your work. And this is a standard in YouTube. YouTube users can use a Creative Commons CC by license in marking their videos. When you use the CC by license, the system will generate a signature to the video automatically. This indicates that you are using Creative Commons content and will show the source video's titles below the video player. The creator retains the copyright of the video while others can reuse your video but under the terms of the license. So I put together some questions. Can you make money with Creative Commons? Yes, you can. Creative Commons videos are available to be monetized on YouTube as they are based on the concept of free reuse and distribution of the original works. Anyone can republish and repurpose those videos to create brand new content and even earn money from it. That was one of the most asked questions. The next question is, so People want to know what is the difference between a standard YouTube license and a Creative Commons. The basic difference is with a standard license, no one can use your video to reproduce as their own work without clearly marking the video of the original video. However, if you select the Creative Commons license while uploading, then the author may use any portions of the work of the original author. So that is the difference between the standard and the Creative Commons license. So as a creator, how can you use Creative Commons? YouTube gives the creator the ability to mark uploaded videos with a Creative Commons license. And this is available to all creators. 
you can also use the standard YouTube license, which is the default setting for all uploads. By marking your original video with a Creative Commons license, you are granting the entire YouTube community the right to reuse and edit that video. Okay, so that explanation being done right now, those are the most asked questions. We're just going to go over to the YouTube sh search engine. Okay, so I am creating a playlist and it is going to be using Creative Commons. There are two ways you can create a playlist. The first is you can create your the first video of the playlist being using a Creative Commons. And then you can add other videos to your playlist. You will still get the credit of the watch time hours and the views, but you will be creating one Creative Commons. Okay, so you want to do a little bit of title. You want to do the first step. The first step is to research the title and create a description. So I am looking at Release Stress and Anxiety in Cats because this is what this is the actual playlist that I am creating so I am using a Creative Commons as my playlist first video and there's a couple reasons why you would do that Yes, you can make a playlist with other people's videos, but each time a person listens to another person's video, they also have an opportunity to stay on their channel and an opportunity to subscribe to their channel and not yours. Now, you will notice this filter. It is located on the left hand upper corner and you will see this icon right here and it says open search filters. So these are the filters that you can use in order to find the video that you are looking for. You could, you could look at the upload date, the type, the duration, the features, or the sort by. We are looking at the features and scroll down till you come to Creative Commons. Tap on Creative Commons. And here you'll see the search query coming up. Now, here is where you will find your Creative Commons videos. Now, you want to make sure that if you are using a Creative Commons, you want to make sure of a couple of things. When you click into a video, you want to make sure you see this a license. And this part is very important. And to make sure that you do have this Creative Commons license. So you have all the information that you need and who to give credit to. These are the music credits and this is the Creative Commons and the Creative Commons and 
I would copy the person's link address just in case you have to be on the you have to be on the safe side always or you will get a copyright strike like what I did because I didn't do all of this information. So just to go back. Now obviously this is somebody who's copied it from someone else. But if I'm going to copy it from this person, I need to say who is what who is the person and the channel. A new kitten. He was seven weeks old when I got him. He's almost nine weeks old right now. And he's going through the phase of jumping up on the computer, jumping up on the keyboard, and just being very, very active whenever he's awake. Very active. And here you can see Creative Commons license. So here I would get this information again. This is the link address. I want to have the link address just in case YouTube comes to me and says you can't you use something and you have a copyright infringement. So I want to make sure that I have the actual link and I also want to make sure that it says here Creative Com Com uh, Commons Reuse Allowed. And then, of course, what I want to do is I want to listen to it and see whether it's something that I, I want to use or not. So I would just listening to other kittens meowing that will not relax them. <laughs> that was a bad example. <laughs> and here, this is my title. These are key words that I definitely want to use. Relieve stress and anxiety in cats and kittens. Okay, so these are the keywords that I am I, I would like to be using. And I'm just gonna look at this video here. 30 minutes. And what does it sound like? And of course you just don't want to pick a video without listening to it. at the date 2020 okay so here we go now you may notice that the same video might be in Creative Commons a few times because a Creative Commons means that anybody who's on YouTube can use it the Creative Commons video. So as long as you remember the T-A-S-L title, author, source, and a link. Title, author,
source where did you find this video and the link where is the license the license is at the creative commons dot org and it un in it and it is under license cc by and it is 4.0 the next step is to download the creative commons video and you can use something called a real player this is a video downloader that you can use on YouTube and it will appear in the middle of your screen when you install it. I will leave this information in the description for you to go and download the real player and then the next step after that will be to upload to your Google Drive and once it is at your Google Drive then you will be able to use your cell phone and uh, download the video and sorry your next step will be to use your cell phone in which you can download the video using a program called editor that you can use with your cell phone you can download and install the program if you have not already and you will look for this link you can also watch this video to help you to understand how InShot Editor works you can either upload your video using the InShot Editor to the YouTube studio or you can use the computer to upload your video to the YouTube studio. At your YouTube channel, create upload videos. You can drag and drop your video file You will see what looks like rain inside of your, the circle. And you know that your video has been uploaded. Video details. You have to make sure that you have a good title, your description, has your keywords in it and the most important thing to remember is the attribution you must always give attribution to a creative commons video and the way to remember it is the TASL stands for title author, source, and a license. You would put your title, the author of the video, the source is where did you get this video from, and the license, which is CC by for YouTube. as well as the destination or the location of where the license is. For instance, this is creativecommons.org. And then you would just process your video as normal. You would you put a thumbnail, which you can create over at canva.com. I will leave the link in the description 
This thumbnail was created over at canva.com. You will then add your video to playlists and uh, make sure that you have your audience information and uh, mostly yes it is made for kids or no it is not made for kids does your video show paid promotion and then your video key tags in which these are keywords in which i created a template at vidiq I will leave that link in the description as well for vidIQ to understand what vidIQ is and how it can help you to build your channel. Your video language, recording date, and this is the license and distribution. So you have two choices. You will have the standard YouTube license and the Creative Commons attribution. The category. And you want to make sure if you are using a, a Creative Commons and it is not the topic of your actual channel, to make sure that the video goes into the right category. And then show how many viewers like and dislike this video. And this is uh, other vidIQ information your visibility and here you can have private share privately unlisted public set as an instant premiere your end screens and these are the videos that you are showing people to be referred to the last 20 seconds of your video. And then you have your video cards. And you would add your video cards depending on how long your video is to different sections of your video. And also you would add inf further information and also something called teaser text. This is the text that will appear here with the circle and the eye. And the last thing that you will do is add your subtitles and you are ready to publish. And you just take your title and see where does your video show up in the YouTube search engine. Video that I created here. And when you open up, you will notice that I have the TASL, which is the attribution for the video creation, the title, the author, the source, and the license. And also, I have also chosen Creative Commons as well. If anybody wants to use this video, you can.
you can download it, you can use it. Whenever you are using a Creative Commons video, you have to make sure that you have all, all of the information or you will get a copyright. And you don't want a copyright strike on your YouTube because when you get three copyright strikes, your YouTube channel will be terminated. You will lose all of your information, you will lose your videos, and if you get three strikes, you will not be able to create another YouTube as far as YouTube is considered. As far as YouTube is, you will not be able to create another YouTube. So this is very important. Title, author, source, and license. And also, thank you for this lovely comment, which I'm going to pin. Also, a good way to collaborate and to help other YouTube channels to grow is anybody who leaves you a very nice comment to pin their comment. And I'm giving a shout out to the Fravulous Film. I'm going over there right now to check out the channel. I'm going to watch a couple of videos, give a couple of likes to the channel and subscribe to the channel to help this YouTuber to grow. Their channel. And I'm going to subscribe to their channel to help them to grow online. And when I subscribe, I'm going to click on the notification bell and it will give me all of their videos. So it looks amazing. They have wonderful looking thumbnails and they have a lot of views and it looks really good. So I will check out the videos and I will also add likes to some of the videos. add this channel to the featured channels on my main YouTube channel. So thank you very much for your comment and I'm happy to give you this shout out. Everybody go and check out this channel. It looks amazing. This has been helpful to people. The one thing I really want to stress and that is when you are using Creative Commons video, you want to be able to use them on YouTube without getting a copyright claim. You have to make sure you remember the TASL, Title, Author, Source, and Link. This is most important when you are using the Creative Commons because you could get a copyright. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and stay safe and have a wonderful evening.